On this episode, we explore our very own neighborhood, we get to stalk a bunny that we came across, and we get to do a Zoomy run, all on today's episode of... There you go, that's a good girl, yes, hello, hello, <laughs> yes. If you are liking this channel's content, please like and subscribe. It really does make a difference for us and allows us to continue to make these videos for you. The geese are being a little bit noisy. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, so loud mufflers. She does not like that sound. So, made her a little bit uncomfortable, but she's doing good. Entering the double gate area of our neighborhood. It's just a nice one and a half mile loop for us. A doggo has to doggo. And this is definitely taking some getting used to how to use this gimbal. And Dina is not walking ahead of me, which makes it harder to get her on camera. According to the phone, that means that um, it will record about 400 megabytes per minute. Let's just call that 500 for simple math purposes. And that means that one gigabyte for every two, um, for every two minutes. So if I did 100 or, or did a one hour uh, recording that's going to be a um, 30 gigabyte file which I think I can handle at some point this video I pressed something that caused it to go to wide angle so I'm not sure what happened there um, and I can't figure out what to press to get it back. These are the kinds of things I want to learn before I start recording for real. Good morning. So, nice pretty area of the lake back there. This is an area where we often see lots of geese. Athena loves to make them take flight. Now coming up on this house, 
they are very friendly neighbors who leave dog treats for anybody on their mailbox which is a just a very nice very nice touch as opposed to the neighbors who leave the um, don't poop in my yard signs so what does that does that mean because and I can understand please clean up your mess absolutely but don't poop in your yard seems to be <laughs> just inviting trouble um, and I assume the reason they have those signs is not because they're anal but because they've had a problem and with people not picking up poop which I understand because I see unpicked up poop on every single walk whether that's people walking their dogs or dogs that are running loose I do not know oh so doggo is now walking in front of me so I can get a little bit of a better shot We are, have only gone just over half a mile. We're gonna make this one a very short walk because I'll be going to New York and walking the hell out of the city this weekend. And so I'm not gonna be doing my normal three mile walk the next two days. Okay, let's just start experimenting with buttons here press the trigger once and I don't see what happens press it twice I don't know what happens press it three times I don't know what happens <laughs> so we'll see okay so I lost the angle and it went It went to two, it, it, when I pressed it twice, I re retained the, I re the angle returned. bunny we have a bunny sighting yeah she is hooked up on that bunny in the distance there it's probably about 20 yards away So we're gonna get some stalking behavior. She goes very slowly as she stalks. Let's go get a girl. Let's go this way. Come on. Let's go closer. The bunny is dead still, which seems to be their usual trick.
Now, we will not be letting her off leash to catch the bunny. I'm fairly certain that would violate some YouTube guideline. And bye-bye, bunny. Okay. Good doggo. Come on, let's go. Let's leave it be. Come on. That's a good girl, yes. You got it. You got to hunt. And we're in the 60s right now with low humidity on May 27th. Doggo's got a doggo. Okay, so when I turn my wrist to check my watch, it doesn't seem like the gimbal can quite hold up to that. I do feel a little silly carrying the gimbal, but I imagine I will get over that as my channel's running and it won't be quite as embarrassing in a park. Okay, so we are at a truck. She loves to lunge at trucks. So when she has a chance to smell one, I try to let her do it in order to try to kind of demystify them for her, make them realize there's nothing here for her to attack. Good sniffies. Oh, I just noticed there is a sound bar on screen and I can see that I am recording at just over one half of the volume level. So I'm gonna guess that I can be heard okay. I will probably eventually end up investing in a in a microphone that can clip to my chest. Um, I had originally thought that how would that work because the gimbal would be plugging into the phone, but it turns out that the gimbal plugs in via uh, Bluetooth and wireless. So I can absolutely get a microphone and I suspect that's going to be needed. Okay, so we have a truck. So let's see if Athena ignores it or lunges at it. She lunged. 
a doggo has to doggo, but a trainer has to train. And I haven't been able to really figure that out yet. She pretty much leaves cars alone, but occasionally she will just randomly, you know, attack a car. You know, the old joke about what is she going to do if she actually catches one? <laughs> okay, we are coming up on what we jokingly refer to as Hell's Corner because they have a couple of dogs that drive her crazy, and there she goes. Um, I've gotten better at keeping her under control by shortening the leash. But she is still extremely agitated and want, pretty much just wants to play with these dogs. Nope, stay here. Okay. Oops. Let's be calm. Nice, slow, and calm. Good girl. That's good. Nope. Come on. That's a good girl. Okay, we're getting better. It's slow progress, but it's, it, we're getting better. Athena, give me a smile. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Come on, let's go. <laughs> She's bumping into my back of my knees with her snout. I do not understand that behavior. Not sure what she's trying to tell me. The only thing that makes sense is that she does that too when she's upset by, say, fireworks and wants to go home. But right now she seems really excited and into her walk. So I wouldn't think that that's the issue. And here's where she does her tightrope act. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the great Athena. You've heard of the Walendas. Well, here's the Athenas. So this is Richland Parkway, which I don't particularly enjoy walking against because as you saw and heard the cars come zipping by here um, but it helps make for a nice good loop and I much prefer loop walks even if I have to deal with some traffic okay this way come on this way. Uh, so, Jogger, I was trying to step into the street for him. While she generally doesn't go after joggers, she does sometimes. So I tried to give them a wide berth. But that time, he went into the street before I could get her into the street. So, and I'm also trying to figure out doing all this while holding the gimbal as well. And we finally have her walking in front until we had some place where we were lots of good sniffies.
Ooh, now we've got some real energy. I'm working about as fast as I can without jogging. Again, one of the real pretty areas of our neighborhood. Some nice, nice, nice woods. There's a creek bed down there at the bottom. I forgot to attach the wrist strap, which has me very nervous about breaking this on the very first day by dropping it. And across the street, we have the lake, also power, power wires. So while it is a nice big area, because of the power wires, it just isn't that nice an area to walk around. I can see I'm gonna have to be doing a ton of editing on these things because there's a lot that won't be of interest and a lot of really bad shots. I'm a long way off, I think, from live streaming. Come on, girl. But I'm really curious about total Total's file size as I do everything with this. But this will be giving me a great first video to edit. Oh, I just realized I should make it a full YouTube video. Just make this one private. Go ahead and create the channel, which will be fun. Well, nice, nice dark area too. Uh, another creek bed. Come on. This way. Morning. I just, the, when I see these areas of my neighborhood, it really reminds me of summer spent in England back in 2008. Dina's being very good about just being patient. When I stop, she's learned that she's good if she just waits. Dina, let's go. And then she just picks it up again. Now, it's different if we're on a hike. If we're someplace really 
exciting for her and I need to take a rest after whatever number of miles we've done. Then she starts whimpering and saying, dude, come on, let's go. Now, this is a house that was just recently built, put on the market for a million bucks, which I don't get because you can see the power wire right behind it. it. Just seems like a really unattractive thing to have for such an expensive home. Now, that's a million dollars in Atlanta real estate, and I don't know what it actually sold for. Of course, some of you, if you're watching in other parts of the country, might look at that and say, that must be a three or four million dollar home. But Atlanta real estate prices compared to, say, California, are very, very inexpensive. I'm sure my $300,000 house is probably a million dollars in California. Now, the bridge we're about to cross, we've already crossed before, we've completed our loop, and now we're back on the lollipop stick. But that bridge, pedestrian bridge, was just added by the county along with this sidewalk just a few years ago, which is really nice. Uh, one of the things I love about Gwinnett County is they do, they are building up the infrastructure as this county gets bigger and bigger and there's our lake and you can see the dam in the distance Okay, so now I wonder if we can do a, one of Athena's favorite things. I don't see anybody around, so I think I'm going to give it a try. Athena, sit. Good girl. Stay. Stay. So she loves to do this run. I have to be careful about when I do it, of course. Stay. Come on, come, come. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> yes, that's fun. Oh, she loves doing that. And bite the leash. Yes, she bite the leash. Um. Okay, so we are coming to the end of the lollipop. So I am going to end this video now. Till the next adventure with Atlanta hiking with Athena. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It will really help us out. Until next time. Beware the Cyclops.